Saturday at 2.30 in Belton, Texas, Whitewater football plays Mary Harden Baylor in the D3 National Semifinals. The winner of that one heads to Salem, Virginia next Friday for the D3 National Championship. One Warhawk is Madison East alum Chris Davis. The former Warhawks basketball star is trying his hand at football, but his accomplishments at Whitewater don't begin and end with the whistles. Chris Davis has done it all at Whitewater. All-conference, player of the year, all-conference, all-American, national player of the year. After a starring role in the 2012 National Davis. Championship basketball team, Davis is trying to win another with Warhawks football. But as a backup tight end, he's more mentor than star. He's like a father to us. He's awesome. At 25 years old on a college campus, Davis is more senior citizen than senior class. They call me the old man because I've been around so long. But to truly appreciate Chris Davis today, you have to understand his journey. At times, I'm ashamed of what I've been. It's, it's a good story, but I wish I couldn't. Ha I wish I didn't have to tell this story. This story goes back to his childhood. His father in jail for 10 years, his mother working two jobs, and trouble always seemed to find Chris. I was a knucklehead, um, constantly getting in trouble, constantly getting suspended. When I was in high school, I was smoking weed, and um, I just really messes with your mind. As a sophomore at Madison East, Chris dropped out of school. He returned a year and a half later, made the honor roll, and was all conference in football and basketball. Chris Davis. I didn't want to be a statistic that say, oh yeah, he dropped out, so he's going to end up in jail, or he's going to end up dead, or something bad's going to happen to him. I didn't want to be that. I want to be the person that I can stand up and say, here I am, a better person. A month before graduation, Chris Davis became a father. When you have a child, you're, you're his role model. So if you see him as, you know, if he sees me doing bad things, what is he going to do? And I knew that I couldn't do that. So I had to become a good father and show him that this is right and wrong, and I don't want you to go down the path I went down. But for Chris, maturity was a process. As a sophomore playing basketball at MATC, Chris got kicked off the team for fighting with a teammate. That was my strike two. Mm -hmm. You know, see? dropping out of school was strike one. Getting kicked out of basketball was strike two. I never got to strike three. After a year away from school and basketball, Chris got a call from Warhawks basketball head coach Pat Miller, who recruited Chris in high school. When I started talking with Chris, it was very evident that he had an agenda in terms of his academic career. Uh, what he wanted to do from a basketball phase. I think having his son um, was an important part of him turning around and maturing. And I just felt after looking at the entire situation that it would be a risk well worth taking. Every athlete needs somebody to push them. And he's definitely was that person that pushed me really hard to get better, to get in the to weight room, to get back in better shape, um, to work on stuff that I need to work on. And it helped. Helped him become not just a star, but a leader on and off the playing field. It ain't about me. <laughs> I ain't winning unless y'all winning. <laughs> but all the wins and all the accolades pale in comparison to giving little Chris the childhood he never had. He's my little rock, you know, he's he's everything, you know, I can ask for it. He's, he's a good kid, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't swear, he's polite, you know, he loves basketball just like his dad, so couldn't ask for too much. For Chris, it's, uh, you know, it's a great story because it could have been a very different story. And there's a lot of people along the way that supported him that allowed it to be a great story. There's not too many people out there that's going to reach out to some kid that's in trouble, like myself was, and say, you know, there is a future for you. So what I want them to know is there is a future for most of the kids that are in bad situations, and I'm a living testament to that.